Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new one in my regret series. I post a video on my regret series every single month. I'll have my playlist linked down below. I talk about makeup I regret buying, I don't regret buying, I don't regret not buying. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about products that I regret not trying sooner. Oh yes, this is a fun one to do. So if you're curious to see the products that I wish I would have been trying out much sooner, why don't we go ahead and jump into it. I did want to say that I did just get done filming this look, so if you are curious about this makeup, this was Friday's trying new makeup uh, video, so I will have that linked in my description box if you're curious to see it. I am recently back from vacation as well. I still, I don't have like full energy back yet. I'm still kind of in recovery mode <laughs> and all of that, especially from a really long day of traveling on Monday and I'm filming this on Wednesday. But I uh, just wanna say that, but jumping into it, I have five different products here to chat about um, that I wish I would have tried sooner. The first one is a newer product to me and once I started trying it, I was like, girl, you knew that you were probably gonna like this. Like, why did you hold out for so long? You're just silly. Uh, that is from Jouer. This is their bronzer duo. This is a, the light to medium duo. I can't even take credit for this. I had a subscriber send it to me. Um, I think I mentioned this in like a wish list type of video. Um, and I had a really lovely subscriber send this over. And once I started trying it, I was like, I, I knew, like, I knew this was one of those products that I was probably really going to get on with, especially because I've been trying out the Jouer blush duos and I've been loving them so much. I've purchased two different ones um, of the blush duos and I've just really been getting on with the face powders. So I figured that I was going to like the bronzers. And the reason I wasn't buying it is just, is so silly and it's like kind of embarrassing to say but I do really purchase a lot from Sephora and Ulta. I really like the rewards programs and and all of that and this wasn't available yet at Sephora. It was available on Beautylish and the Jouer website like I could have purchased from both of those but for whatever reason my stubborn butt was like nope need the points and need the rewards and need da 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 like it's just it's so silly <laughs> like I wish I just would have purchased it from Beautylish because this is such a nice nice product so inside you do get two different bronzers honestly um, kind of how I've been applying it since I got it is just kind of mixing my brushes um, in both of them and I think that it looks really beautiful it's very easy to blend out it looks nice and natural on the skin I do really like the packaging on these this is the same as the blush bouquets I like the packaging I like the mirror but I do like this product so much and I just feel silly that I didn't go out and purchase it sooner I knew, I knew, I knew I was gonna like it. And I just realized how many bronzers I'm gonna be talking about in this video. <laughs> oh girl, you got a problem. Okay, let's talk about a non-bronzer. Let's talk about a non-bronzer yet. This is a product that I started trying out recently and I guess, I don't know, I wasn't really expecting to enjoy it so much, but I find myself that I keep reaching for it and keep reaching for it until finally it's just sitting on my desk with me because it's what I've been using so often before applying makeup. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. So I did receive a PR package from Wet n Wild not too long ago. I did a video trying out a bunch of different products and in the video I tried this out. I ended up spraying my face twice, once before makeup and once kind of after I was applying powder products. And I was like, wow, that's really nice. Like, you know, I was saying that's a really nice spray and I thought it was very hydrating. And Sometimes makeup sprays are one of those products that maybe I don't get super jazzed about right away or like I want to shout out from the rooftops like, hey, I absolutely love this product. But it's one of those that once I notice that I'm continually reaching for it, I have a lot of setting sprays. I have primer waters. I got a lot going on. So when this one just ke I keep going for it, I'm like, okay. How much do you enjoy that primer water? And I really, really like it. I do like the scent on this. It is the coconut one. I know that they have some different scents. I think they have just like a regular one too, but I really do like the coconut one. I do personally like coconut scents. Scents, scents, goodness gracious, girlfriend. Get together. Uh, but this one, I just really do enjoy for how hydrating it is. Like I said, I do like it before makeup. I'd like it after makeup. Um, I like it in between makeup. You know, a lot of times uh, after I apply makeup and I'm doing a bunch of different powders, I do like to spray my face again just to kind of settle everything in there. And this one is so so nice. I think it just makes my skin look nice and dewy. You know, I do have drier skin, but I just keep reaching for this one. It's like five bucks or something. It's super affordable. And I will say, I don't feel like I've heard people just like absolutely rave about this from one wild. Honestly, I hear more about the friggin' Photo Focus Foundation and the Katsu lipsticks, both of which I don't like from Wet n Wild, both of which I purchased because they got talked about so much and I didn't love those. I don't feel like I've heard a ton about the primer waters, so you have to let us know in the comments. Do you really like these? Do you not like them so much? I would love to know, but honestly, I think that this is really good. Um, and sometimes I buy, you know, pricier um, sprays and, and primer waters and all that, like the Smashbox primer water. 
I purchased that because obviously it's it's super talked about and I hardly ever touch that. This one though, I'm like, yes please. So I kind of regret not trying that one out a bit sooner. Uh, the next product I want to talk about, this is from Hourglass. So I'm going to hold up the uh, Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4 palette, but what I specifically want to talk about is uh, the bronzer in here. So. I wanted to, I really wanted to include this in this video because I kind of wanted to like tell a little story, which is not shocking because I tell a lot of stories. But when I first started trying out Hourglass, some of the first products that I tried from them was like their ambient lighting blushes and also their finishing powders. Uh, I, I purchased a blush on, on my own. I think I got it from Glam Bob, I want to say. Um, but I know I purchased a blush on my own. I think I also got like a mini blush in a set. And I also got some finishing powders as like samples and in sets as well. Those were some of the first products that I was trying out from Hourglass. And I hear really good things about them. Like I hear a lot of good things about them. I hear them being talked about a lot. And I did not see the hype. And Hourglass is very expensive. Those blushes are very expensive. The finishing powders are very expensive. And I was like... Ugh. Like I was kind of turned off from the brand as a whole to be honest because I was just like, okay Well, I tried their products and I don't see the value of their price tags. Oh, I did just get back from a vacation So if you notice that I'm a little burnt It's because I am I the, There's that um, But so it was kind of turning me off from the brand to be honest because I just thought things were overpriced and I don't know not to say I'm not saying that I, I don't feel like people who say they love the products didn't actually love them because I'm sure that they do and we're all super different with our makeup preferences but I was just like you know I don't think it's for me um you know I thought a lot of the blushes and, uh, and the powders and such were just a lot more subtle than kind of my makeup preferences and all of that so I was just like oh no not really and I passed over a lot from Hourglass a lot of their releases because I, I just kind of thought as a whole this brand isn't for me and I've really been changing my mind. They've come out with a lot of products, especially recently, that I really, really do enjoy. Um, I do really like the uh, Caution Mascara. I really like the Veil Setting Powder. But honestly, I got this and I started trying it out and my favorite product, hands down, out of the six shades in here is this bronzer. I reach into this bronzer so often. I really do just want to get like a, a individual bronzer from Hourglass because I want to wear this bronzer so often because I think that it's gorgeous and instead of having um, a palette with, you know, I do like the palette. I, I like the finishing powders in here. I don't like the highlight. I do like the blushes. I think that they're fine, but the bronzer is just such a standout to me and it kind of makes me wonder maybe if I tried a bronzer instead of a blush in the beginning, would it have like changed my mind? Would I have been more open to Hourglass? I will never know because I can't go back to the past. So that was kind of interesting. I thought maybe it would be a, a fun story to add in there because I, I can remember so many Hourglass releases coming out and just me thinking like, nope, this brand's not really for me. This brand's not really for me. And, you know, it just makes me wonder if maybe I would have tried a bronzer versus a blush if if things would have been different. I mean, it's not that deep, it's just makeup, but you know what I'm saying. But this bronzer, I just, I do think that it is really beautiful. This is the Filtered Bronze Light. Um, that's the bronzer that's in here, but it's a really nice glowy bronzer, but it's still natural. It's not like shimmery at all, but I'm just reaching for it so often. I've definitely been noticing myself reaching for um, like a really liking glowy bronzers recently too. And this one I just think is beautiful. So I keep reaching for it. Um, I wish I would have tried that out sooner or, you know, just tried like a bronzer maybe in general sooner from Hourglass versus some of the other products that I was trying, but I'm really impressed with that. So I thought it would be a fun one to throw out there. And then another product, I just mentioned this recently in a review video. It was my lifestyle of favorites. This is kind of a random one, but this is a coffee scrub and this is from a Frank Body. It's the original coffee scrub. This was sent over from uh, sent over to me um, and Frank Body, they did sponsor a portion of that video um, from the lifestyle favorites and they reached out to me a couple months ago and said, you know, would you want to do a video together? And my response always when I get those kind of emails is, you know, yes, um, you can send me the products, I can try them out, and if I like them and, you know, feel strongly enough to, to make a video or to include it in a video, then we can go ahead and go for it. So they sent me over a couple products and they sent me the coffee scrub and I was really excited to try this out because when I think of Frank Body, this is what I think of because I've seen so many people talk about this and rave about this. So I was very curious to start trying it out. And once I did, I was super impressed. I did enjoy the skincare that they sent over as well, um, especially the cleanser. I really, really do like that cleanser. But honestly, the reason why I went ahead and said yes to the sponsorship was because I love this coffee scrub. <laughs> this has really got me going. And I believe I even said in that video, I wish I would have been trying this sooner. I wish I would have had this last summer. 
Oh my gosh, so it's a coffee scrub. Um, so what you do is you get in the shower, you apply it all over your body, um, let it sink, sink in or sit there for a few minutes and then rinse it off and this, your skin is super smooth. You know, it's nice and exfoliated. It just looks better, it feels softer. My skin feels so soft after I use this. I usually just use it a couple times a week and I feel like, it, like I still have the effects on my skin even a couple days after using it. I do think it's also really nice. I do self tan quite a bit as well. Not right now, since I am tanned from Punta Cana. Thank you so much. Um, but I do self-tan a lot, and it's good to exfoliate the body or kind of like scrub off any lingering self-tan before you apply a fresh self-tan. And I've been using this a lot to kind of scrub everything off and get my body ready for self-tanning. I have been so impressed with this, and I, like I said, I wish I would have had this last summer. I'm not super confident when it comes to my legs. There's a part of my body that I just, I don't really love, but I feel like, especially my girlfriends, they all have like super smooth legs. You know, if you ever sat next to your girlfriend, you like touch your leg, and you're like, damn girl, how are your legs so smooth? My legs are never that smooth, okay? They're never that smooth. I feel like I always miss so many like, when I'm shaving my legs, I feel like I always have like hair on my knees or below my knees or something and all my girlfriends just look amazing. And I'm like, how, how are you doing this? Like teach me your, I don't, I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? Did I learn wrong? I don't know. I feel a lot more confident when I have this on because I just, I, I can see the results. I can see that my legs look better and that they feel better. So like when my husband touches my legs, I'm not like, oh, sorry. Like, mm, sorry about that. I enjoy this stuff so much. So I really did want to mention it in here. Uh, I just think it's so good. I do wish I would have been trying that sooner, especially like last summer and on like our boating trips and our float trips and all of that. <sighs> that would have been nice to have. Okay. We're gonna finish off this uh, edition of bronzers that I wish I would have tried sooner. I'm just gonna go ahead and rename the video. But I have another bronzer in here. This is a cream product. This is from Milk Makeup. This is their matte bronzer. Okay. Okay. So I haven't always been super into cream products. I was at one point. Like a couple years ago, I definitely wore a lot more cream products. Then I switched over into almost mainly powder products. I decluttered a lot of my cream products. Uh, and now slowly I'm starting to get back into the cream products. I mean, it's just, you know, our makeup preferences change just as trends and fashions and, you know, all of that. Things change. So I've been getting more into cream products. And I have heard so many people recommend this bronzer from Milk Makeup. But I was always like, nope, nope, nope. Nope. And I really like Milk Makeup. I like a lot of products from Milk Makeup. There's definitely some misses from Milk Makeup, just like there is with every brand, but there's a lot of hits from Milk Makeup. So you would think once I started getting back into cream products and looking for a new cream bronzer, that I would just go ahead and purchase the Milk Makeup one. But no, I didn't. Instead, I purchased one from Fenty Beauty. I purchased a matchstick in Mocha because I was hearing a lot of people talk about the Fenty matchsticks. And I like that one. I think that it's fine. This one is better. This one is a lot better. This one is a lot more user friendly. It's easier to blend out. I think that it looks even more natural on the skin. I'm really impressed with that one, so, with this one. So I'm actually a little bit angry at myself that I just went and purchased the Fenty because honestly, if I would have purchased this one first, I don't think that I would have purchased another one. But because I didn't love the Fenty and I didn't find myself reaching for it a ton just because I feel like it is harder to blend out on the skin. So that's just like really throwing you guys off because it's like really throwing me off. I probably should have changed sweaters, but <laughs> that's what we're rolling with. But like I was saying, uh, if I would have purchased this first, I don't think I would have purchased the Fenty because I would have been really happy with this. But because I didn't love the Fenty, I still wanted to add another cream bronzer to my collection. So then I went out and purchased the Milk Makeup. So I'm really bummed at myself that I didn't try this one sooner. Again, I've heard so many people talk about this one and recommend this one, and I definitely would recommend it as well. Honestly, I just purchased it a few weeks ago, but I've been using this one so much. I would highly recommend this one from Milk. I just feel like it's really easy to use and it looks really nice on the skin. But uh, after that, those are the five products that I regret not trying sooner. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed some of the stories in there and I hope that my sunburn didn't throw you off too much. So sorry about that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give this one a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.